I'm delighted to be joined by Cardiff Devils leading scorer, Elite League Forward of the Year, and now fourth season Cardiff Devil, Joey Martin. Congratulations on the new deal, Joey. Welcome back to the Devils. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm very happy to be back with the Devils for, for my fourth year. Very excited. Uh, when you turned up here a few few years ago uh, at the big blue tent and uh, and, and saw what what awaited you, did you ever imagine you'd be uh, entering your fourth season here now? No, I was kind of thinking about that the other day uh, when I first came here. You know, I I really didn't know what to expect, and you know, I thought maybe a year or two, and and here I am, my fourth year, and I think that's kind of a testament to this club and and the city and the people in the city. Uh, we've talked a little bit over past seasons about there may have been some unfinished business with that, that league title. Of course, you and the guys managed to accomplish that, that great feat uh, last year. The Devils had waited 20 years for that, that title. You did that. Maybe there was a thought that, that you might think about moving on and looking at new things, but this deal was done very quickly. This is where you wanted to be. Yeah, you know, uh, like I th like I said last year when I was returning, you know, we had unfinished business. and. And I, you know, I think maybe this year it could be, you could say, defending the title. But I, I think at the end of the day, I just kind of feel like Cardiff's like my second home. And, you know, my wife and I are so happy here. Um, we love the city. We love the people here. This organization is so great. There's so many good people throughout the organization. And, you know, as, as somebody playing hockey overseas, you know, this is kind of everything you're looking for. I suppose uh, you mentioned it there, you know, that, that, that home now that you've, you feel here. You've been a part of this club through this process uh, since the new era, that emergence there where the club was resurrected in many ways. You've been an integral part of that. And I suppose it's been an integral part of, uh, of your life over the last few seasons as well. Just talk a little bit about that bond you have now with this Devils organisation. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I came the kind of the year after, you know, that, that disappointing year. So I, I really didn't know much about it until I got here. And then, you know, once I was here and, and I talked to a lot of the fans and, and I, I kind of had a better understanding of how much this team means to, to these fans and, you know, and, and how long it's been since a league title. And I just thought it'd be so special to be part of a team that could bring that to this to the city. And, you know, after doing it this year, it was just so satisfying. It was it was unbelievable to look around and see the guys in the room, how happy they were and, and also the fans, you know. How happy they were so it was just so so satis uh, satisfying perhaps we could just go a little bit more in depth about those th those years that you spent you know, everybody you know from the from the team the coaching staff to the fans to the people who volunteers on game night everyone's got their own story i suppose of the progression of the club over that time from that season where you first arrived in the tent the new ownership took charge and there was that meeting with, with Steve King that was had uh, when, they, when they took over uh, in the Civic Centre in Cardiff and everyone's got their own sort of view of that through their own eyes. Just from your point of view as, as a key player in that, uh, how do you see those, those four years and just talk us through that a little bit? You know, I think we've come a long way in such a short amount of time. I, I think my first year, you know, it kind of felt like there weren't many expectations, you know, it felt like we, we had this team, obviously kind of uh, Lordo came in kind of later and I think the recruitment you know was done end of the summer so it was a team that was kind of thrown together and in that year we won the Challenge Cup we had some success and and it was amazing it was, you know it was such a fun year and I kind of I think we slowly kind of set the bar and then you know the next couple of years I, I think you know Todd and Lordo just just the way they are how competitive they are you know they just kind of turned this the mentality to a winning club right away and you know, I think not only through, through the players, but like ev the management and everybody throughout the whole, you know, the whole team kind of views it, this team as a winning team. And I think that's the kind of mentality you have to have. Uh, you are a winning team, and of course, uh, crowned off by winning that, that league, league, league title. Uh, we've talked about it a lot in, in Cardiff here, but I think people have waited a long time for it. So just again, now a little bit of reflective time, I suppose, since the yeah. season's finished. Just that, that moment, clinching that title up in Sheffield, all the work that had gone into it from your perspective and the guy's perspective. Yeah, it was almost surreal. Um, you know, at the time when we won, it, it felt so good. It almost felt like it was, it didn't really kick in yet though. Just knowing that the season had it ended, it, it, was, a, it was a weird feeling, but it was definitely something special, um, you know, it was something we've been we've been trying to achieve for a few years now and to put in so much work and so much time and, and to finally to win and to look around and see how happy the guys are is just like a feeling you can't explain and i suppose it just 
continues to go on, onwards and upwards, really, if, if, if that's possible. That league win ensured that uh, the Cardiff Devils have that Champions League place uh, next season. So uh, for the second year in a row, hockey's going to get underway here at Ice Arena Wales from the middle of August. Uh, how do you look forward to that competition? What about that? Yeah, that's going to be a great experience. Obviously, there's going to be some really good competition there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how, how we uh, play out. Um, you know, I'm pretty excited for that. And then obviously, um, you know, next season, kind of defending the, the league title, it's going to be it's going to be a challenge. You know, teams are going to be gunning for us, but I think it's a challenge that that we enjoy. You know, um, we're a competitive club, and and you know, I think uh, you know when the season approaches, we're going to be very excited. And uh, I, you know, we talk about unfinished business. And I suppose there is one aspect of that, and that's that's that playoff title. You came so close, of course, uh, against the Sheffield Steelers in mm -hmm. what perhaps is the greatest game in in elite league history. I appreciate that it was a loss at the end. Talk a little bit, though, about what it was like to be a part of that game. Uh, but also, you know, next season, that's the one thing that, that you still got to win here. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it was a fun game to be a part of. Um, it was exhausting. You know, there's so many emotions. Obviously, the result was very, you know, disappointing. We really wanted to win it. I, th I think the biggest thing is what was at stake. You know, if we won that game, we would have won every trophy in the league, and that would have been something really special. And you know, we were so disappointed, but, you know, at, at the end of the day, it, it took a few days to kind of wear off and, and we could reflect and look back and, and think about what a tremendous year it was. But definitely um, not winning that playoffs, you know, probably leaves a little bit of motivation to, to try to capture that next year. Uh, I'm going to throw something just a little bit left field uh, at you mm -hmm. now, but you are going into your fourth season now uh, at the Devils. Um, Team GB are playing at the moment, of course, in Belfast, and they're doing extremely well out there at the moment, three from three in, the, in those games. Is that something which comes into your reckoning now, how going into your fourth season, and what may be possible at the end of that? Um, you know, I'm not really sure. Um, it, it's something, you know, I've been following the guys. Obviously, we have a few guys there, but, you know, I haven't put any thought to that. <laughs> okay, well, I thought I'd ask it. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, well, many congratulations on, on the new deal, Joey. I'm sure uh, people will be jumping for joy all throughout South Wales to see that, that you're back. You've given so much to this uh, organisation the past few years and an integral part of uh, what's been an incredible rise and, and some great memories for people. So congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you uh, in the new season. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm very excited myself.